This has been happening over the last couple of years now, at least. My stomach was really burny, headaches, sort of hot sweats in the night, nausea. I actually ended up going to the GP almost every week. I wasn't getting any like answers on what was wrong with me. Recently I moved house and I signed up to a new surgery who do things differently and that's where it's all changed really. General practice is under enormous pressure so we're having to think creatively. Here in Luton what we've been doing is our practices have been working together in groupings covering 30 to 70,000 patients. Services such as community services, social care and mental health are aligned around the practices um, and the practices themselves have been looking at how they can staff differently. We brought in paramedics who were excellent on emergency care, acute children. We brought in pharmacy because obviously the more complex the patient gets, the more complex medication they're going to have. And then we looked at the new professions, so we've now brought in physicians associates. I was put in touch with a paramedic within the surgery and he had all the time in the world for me. Paramedic sort of asked me had I considered that I might potentially be feeling some sort of anxiety with everything that was going on in my life. The physical symptoms of anxiety, he was suggesting that I had all of these things and at that moment I just sort of had that light bulb moment in my head where I thought actually yeah, it made sense. I think people are surprised to find a paramedic in GP practice and I've been in this particular practice for about two years now and I've just been made a partner. We are very good at dealing with acute medicine and we're able to give antibiotics out, we're able to treat common things that happen commonly. Often patients come in with multiple issues and if there's multiple issues we can treat some of them but then signpost them to the appropriate clinician within the team that we work in. I guess the biggest advantage is being able to tap into other people's skill set. We can work with them to ultimately provide our patients with better care. We're specialists in medicines, so we always look at interventions and doses and renal function, things like that, whereas the doctor may look at uh, diagnosing. So we work together as a team. We learn from each other and also develop ourselves professionally, I would say. So that's what I enjoy about working in a big multidisciplinary team. It's freed up GP time, which doesn't mean the GPs are not seeing the patients, but they know they've now got the luxury of booking a half an hour appointment if that patient needs it. It feels so different from before. My GP now is amazing. He is more than happy to have as much time as I need to talk through whatever I need to talk to. He's so supportive. So I've been referred to Total Wellbeing in Luton, which is run by the NHS and the Council. I'm also being referred to a Women's Wellbeing Centre, which is run by local volunteers, so I'm getting help from every angle. Three and a half years ago, we had four GP partners that retired, and we were honestly thinking, how do we survive? But now we are growing, we are able to attract more GPs actually into the practice because they can see that we're doing. I think that really makes a difference. We now have um, a workforce that can see hope, they can see uh, a possibility of working differently um, and being able to be in charge of their own destiny and to manage their workload. If I didn't have had access to all of the things that I have now, I'm not sure where I would be, to be honest. I really don't. I, I'd probably be in quite a bad place. I would encourage everyone to start to work together with your neighbouring practices and really work as a team to deliver the needs of that population. It's very satisfying and it absolutely has brought back the joy of working in general practice.